it's almost six and I'm finally sitting down at my computer. It's being slow, so I think first thing I'm gonna do is shift some memory around and then open up my file and start working. Coffee. First half hour, and I got 368 work. So now I'm gonna go wake up my husband so he can stab our cat. Diabetic. So when Kurt Vonnegut Jr. takes a break, he does push-ups and sit-ups, and so I'm gonna do my first set of push-ups and sit-ups since I took a break from writing. It's too early for this. Ten and ten. First two hours done. It is eight o'clock. I'm gonna do some more push-ups and sit-ups and then make breakfast. I've already gotten 1,345 words this morning. Wee. So I made breakfast. It took me a little over an hour. I don't think it takes them that long, so I'm gonna give myself an extra half hour to get work done before I go do errands, which is going to be me walking around my yard as long as it doesn't rain or working out for the hour. He usually does a half an hour swim. I don't swim, so can't go swimming right now. So I'm just gonna do my walk for that instead and then come back and do other work that I have to do other than writing as he would go to teach. So that's my plan currently. Let's hope I can actually get some more work done. So I'm done with my second work session and I got 908 words. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go change and go for my walk and do my errands and swim. I ran a mile, walked another mile, was reading the selection because I finished Amanda Palmer. And yeah, I'm going to do some work like uploading YouTube videos when I'm done with my lunch. Because I'm an adult and I don't want to clean an extra bowl, I'm eating the rest of my pistachio pudding out of the bowl I made it in. Yep. So it's 5.30, I wrote over a thousand more words. Hold on, let me actually calculate that, which means highlighting shit. Has it really been that many pages? Okay, no, no, it has not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Oh, that's still a lot of pages. Another 1,314, 1,314 words. Seems like three, it's 5.30. I'm gonna go make dinner. And then maybe write some more, believe it or not. I'm actually feeling inspired. Maybe I'll get through this whole story in a matter of a week, which would be fucked up and awesome. Okay, I need food. Yes, and I'm tired. It's been 12 hours. <sighs> I could not come up with my word count last night because I couldn't remember where I started. But I went back and I finally found it. <laughs> 
a lot more than I thought that I wrote, which was like I'm a little sticking out. 4,196 words. I apparently really want to write this story. And the only reason I stopped is because I just couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. I was writing through dinner. I didn't actually listen to anything during dinner. And even my son commented on it. But holy cow, it was a good day. I think that the physical activity really helps. So those push-ups that I was like, push-ups with sit-ups that I kept complaining about going, it's too early for this. I've got a kitty. Really helped the brain. I think the running really helped and doing it earlier in the day rather than later in the day, which is when I usually prefer to do stuff. I, yeah, I'm excited. This this worked really well. Kurt Browning Jr. might have me getting up at 5.30 more often to try his routine. Now again, right better. So much better during the day than I do at night, but I don't normally have time at night. And somehow yesterday I only had one extra thing to do. I mean, I had other things to do, I just couldn't concentrate on them, so I just went back to writing. And that worked in my favor, didn't it, kitty? Didn't it? It made me very happy. I also read half a book, which is nice. Yes, I did. <laughs> didn't I? I started the selection, which was cool. Yeah, it was a... Uh, I, I really like... I think I'm going to incorporate more push-up sit-ups during the day type of thing. Or even just like squats and things that I enjoy doing a little bit more than push-ups and sit-ups. I mean, they're basics that I do. I, I like to work my legs more than I like to work anything else. So, which makes me more of a typical girl, didn't it? Yeah. I'm still talking to my cat. Hi. So there we go. And that was my experience with Kurt Vonnegut Jr. thing. I almost didn't wake up at 5.30. I almost set my alarm again because I have missed it three times doing this challenge because of the uh, wake up time. And that's because I typically don't go to bed till midnight, one o'clock. So waking up at 5.30 has been conducive to that. So I forced myself to go to bed at 10 and I woke up at 5.30, almost set my alarm again for six before I was like, you're already in bed, just go do it. And it was nice. So, yeah, I got to break in my shoes, too. I didn't show you guys running because they didn't want to see me run. But I got my new shoes, and they kind of hurt my feet at first, and then they didn't. So I'm, I'm breaking them in, which is exciting. My husband's the sweetest ever because he got me the new shoes during quarantine. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, if you guys like seeing this type of thing, you want me to do any more writing routines, yes, this was part of my writeropoly, but feel free to let me know if there's an author you want me to mimic the routine, or if you'd like me to try to mimic the writing style, which is something else that I would really like trying to do. I used to do that in college as experiments. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.